the best walk maybe I've ever had. You're lying. I'm not. Do so we have to pay for this? I'm saving. That's $25. Yeah. Worth it. You got Venmo? You got yeah, Venmo? yeah, I got Venmo. <laughs> So tomorrow, I'm back in 368. It's an event with BNH, and it's promoting this four-week program where you get access to BNH's gear locker in 368. So it's just like a kickoff event, I believe. Since it's a BNH event, they've hired kosher caterers, but they wanted to bring like a interactive station to the event. So they asked if I could do like a salsa guacamole thing. So I went out picked up all the stuff for salsa, guacamole, sort of the same stuff I did at the taco event. What I'm gonna do today is prep a bunch of the fire roasted salsa here. I'm gonna prep, like chop up some onions and get everything prepped for guacamole. And then I'm gonna just bring everything over to 368 and just kind of set up a nice salsa bar, make guac throughout the night, keeping it fresh. And that's about it. Pretty straightforward, simple task. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna do my best to prepare. Basically just gonna run you through some of the prep for the fire roasted salsa, chop up some things for the guacamole, got a bunch of chips, and that's that. So let's just get started and make some salsa. So I got all my roasted veg. Now we just gotta blend it. Okay, I'm in good shape. Guacamole is ready to be made. Sauce is made, chips are done. I'm just going to get this stuff put in the fridge, organize myself, I need to regroup, think about the gear and equipment I need to bring and pack, and then get some rest. So I'll check back with you in the morning and we'll get ready to get this thing done. Good morning. It's game day, so all my prep work is done here. I basically just have to get my gear in order, pack up the things in the fridge, get everything in the car, and head on over to the event. Let's see what happens. Gonna bring you guys along with me for the ride. Should be a good event. Shouldn't be really any problems here. Should just be a fun time. So let's just get this thing going.
So the event started at six. I arrived at around three. I quickly set up all of my stuff. There wasn't much to do. Got everything organized. I was so prepared that I sort of had like way too much time to kill. So what do you think, something like this? Yeah, this looks perfect. Yeah, I'm ahead of the game. I know you are. I love it. I wasn't I it. doubting anything. <laughs> Ella, who sort of runs the events, I believe, she was there setting up with the rest of the team, so I thought I'd make myself useful and help in any way that I could. The guys from B&H eventually showed up, so I helped them unload. The other caterers eventually arrived. Around 5 o'clock, I started to get into the zone and prepare for people to start coming. Check the salsa, make sure it was tasting good, nicely seasoned. I went through and cut a whole bunch of limes ahead of time, got them in a bowl. I chopped up my cilantro, got that ready. I had everything cut and prepared, so when I needed to make a new batch of guacamole, it really would take no time or effort for me to do it, and I could interact with people, and it was very loose and easy. The idea in my head was like a table-side guacamole service. Just do that, but like in a party setting throughout the night. At around 5.30, I started to like prepare my first batch of guac. Then I got the salsa and the guac out into bowls and, you know, made it look nice. Around six o'clock, people started to slowly roll in. At this point, it was just sort of like on autopilot. Had enough stuff out there at all times that I wasn't really worried. When I needed a new batch, I just made it. And then I just sort of like hung out, talked to the people. This is the type of service I love. Tell me what you really it is think. The best walk maybe I've ever had. You're lying. I'm not. You're lying. I'm not. She lying? I don't think she is. Do we have to pay for this? I'm serious. Look, yeah, that's, I'm that's saving. That's twenty-five dollars. Yeah. Worth it. The Venmo? You got yeah, Venmo? Yeah, yeah, I got Venmo. Okay. <laughs> no, my Venmo's broken right now, man. <laughs>
The event was great. Seemed like everyone had fun. I had fun. I was relaxed. Thumbs up. Big fly just flew through there. No stress, easy, relaxed, and fun. It really just sort of felt like I was throwing a dinner party at my place. Me standing behind a counter with a cutting board and some food in front of me and people kind of mingling, that's a very comfortable place for me to be in. Salsa and guac bar, it's a great thing if you're having parties. You could just sort of do this, like if uh, you just set up a little booth in the corner of your apartment or your house and, you know, just like you would be a bartender at a party, just be, be the guac boy. Boy or girl, I guess. Right in the sink. Bat in a thousand. Where was I? Thank you again, Paul and Ella over at 368. You guys are great, it's always a pleasure. Looking forward to all the fun and delicious things that we might do in the future. Other than that, another successful cooking adventure at 368 in the books. Back to our regularly scheduled programming next episode. Thanks to all you who are becoming patrons. Really means a lot to me. The support really helps. So much love to all you. If you want to become one of my Patreon producers, there's a link on the screen and there'll be one in the description. Make sure you, if you're a creator, you check out the BNH camera rental program. If you are in New York City, they're running the pilot now, but eventually it should be available to all creators to rent for free in some capacity. It's a great utility that they're doing over there. That's all that I have today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself. <laughs>